Good news this week for explorers seeking extraterrestrial life. Scientists say they have detected a gas called phosphine swirling in the highly acidic clouds of Venus. But the European Southern Observatory's Itziar de Gregorio says it is probably too soon to say life exists on the planet. This doesn't mean that we discovered extraterrestrial life on Venus, far from it. It is possible that we are unaware of a chemical that produces this phosphine, and we have to investigate in that direction. The quest to study Venus began in 1960 with the Pioneer 5 space probe. But with this week's development, there's heightened interest in the planet. On Earth, bacteria thriving in oxygen-starved environments like sewers and intestines produce the gas phosphine. The discovery on Venus is raising speculation that microbial life exists there, but de Gregorio adds that the phosphine source could simply be something researchers have yet to study. In other news that could be ripped from the pages of a science fiction novel, NASA and the European Space Agency, or ESA, joined forces this week to build a spacecraft to deflect an Earth-bound asteroid. This mission is essentially a demonstration so we can understand how these technologies could be used. It's like billiards. A small force hits the asteroid that is heading for Earth, which should create an aversion, and we want to practice this so that we are ready if an asteroid is actually heading for us. NASA is set to launch a craft in June 2021 on a collision course with the asteroid to attempt altering its flight path. If the mission succeeds, the ESA will launch a follow-up in 2024. In other news, images from space show the vast and ancient ice sheet atop Greenland shed a 113-square-kilometer chunk of ice last month. The new research uh, is yet another piece, important piece of evidence showing that it's really time we stop hitting the snooze button and wake up to the climate emergency. We need to curb climate emissions right now, immediately and we need to create a network of ocean sanctuaries uh, covering at least a third of, of the blue planet if we are to take uh, climate crisis seriously. Dr. Laura Meller from Greenpeace says the time to act is now. As more ice melts, experts say more dark water appears in its place, absorbing heat, further accelerating the process of melting ice and rising seas. And finally, UNESCO certifies Italy's St. Bartolome Valley as a starlight stellar park, meaning it's one of the best places on Earth to look up at the sky. The northern Italian municipality takes its designation seriously, having recently replaced lampposts with special LEDs that do not shine up. Arash Arabasati, VOA News, Washington.